why countries and individuals are not growing. Even when the process and the road will not be so lively, suitable, or enjoyable, but the end justifies the means. Right now, I'm saying this with full confidence in my research on the exact reason for our stagnancy, both country-wide, state-wise, village-wise, community-wise, and what have you. The one most important factor which makes us stagnant is the lack of formal quiet, positive thinking, serious thinking of each and every spec of our life. Economy. Every part, single part of our life. Relationship, business, and what have you. But we have inclined to laziness in thinking and settling for the thoughts which have been established. Not realizing that every day cost for upgrade technology, thinking wise, educational wise, relationship wise, family wise, every aspect for where a person fails to upgrade every aspect of his life, just like a software, he performs rigidly and fixed up every point and joint, exists complete friction affects every part of the person's life when you fail to upgrade some of our parents in business they have settled for the way they have learned the previous business and they think that that is the way forward in our present business platform not knowing that there are so many technologies so many ideas and so many tactics and tricks in business currently so many in churches have stayed stagnant in the doctrine and the law established by the predecessor who in their time have so many things affecting their time that is not affecting ours and ours have some new things affecting it which so many things need to be watched, reorganized and looked into just like the wise people who formed the New Testament. We had Old Testament and there is New Testament in their old age. Let me put it to you. Let me be very specific to you. We're supposed to have another extra New Testament. Extra New Testament upgrading because they have upgraded in their time and we need to upgrade. I'm not following you. A principle left before so rigidly that we refuse to grow. The relationship in so many aspects of life we have try to stand and become so stagnant what our parents have taught us our elders have taught us our teachers have taught us we have found to watch how everything is moving in the country in our life in our relationship in our work to think and to implement some strategy to make things work better in our own personal life also mostly in our own personal life we have found to do so. So, why do you want to go when you have chosen to be stagnant? So many use religion as a basis for their stagnation. So many use their parents. So many use their leaders. And what have you? Personally, what impute are you contributing to the country, to your community, to your state, to the world at large? What personal impute are you doing? Are you so much concentrated in your own life, so selfish in your own life, that everything you are doing business wise? What have you? You just want to get, 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 and not even care about the people who are around you. Some people want to say anything they can say to make money, not even care if that thing is suitable for the cost in which the person who has come to buy has come to buy. Just to make the money. What value are you creating? What value are you creating? Stop to be stagnant and let the thing at every point in time what you are doing and the best way to improve. Do not put the former principle of the past to the present principle in conjunction 
arm to dance as a guy modern resistance and upgrading. Think personally, grow personally, so that you will move yourself first up with the community, your village, your state, the nation, every aspect of the country. We now move forward and grow. Do not only be talking bad about the leaders and forgetting that you are a living entity of your own life and people around you. As one, last born, father, mother, leader, what are you? You are a person. Personally to yourself, you are a leader. What are you living to yourself? How far have you moved? We should learn to go out of our comfort zone to dictate, to understand the principle of things happening. I am so much grateful to God who has allowed me to move out of my comfort zone to understand what friends means, what hardship means, what nurse means, to equip me more, to inspire you naturally, organically, to greatness, telling you things with facts and figures. In as much as when I speak, you might not understand. But what I'm telling you, jokingly, dancing, doing every caricature, is inspired thoroughly and fully by nature. Listen to God in me whenever I speak and let us grow. Think, think, and grow. Think, think, and grow. No wonder the white said that most of the truths are hidden in writing for an African man. Most of the truths are hidden in writing for an African man. Think, study, and grow. I love you. Can you inspire remains a guy man? I love you, facts. I love to enjoy life to peacefulness. But I do not feel. I appreciate my God and appreciate the quiet time which brings success and growth. Watch the do inspire. Go, follow me. Let us grow. Contribute to what I have said. Join the process. Join the process. It is not speech written, it is thoroughly coming from the natural realm. Not from or anything. I love you. Please be inspired. You are a man with inspire. Operating. What a great speech from Nido Inspire! This is a moving train. Nido Inspire is the next big thing. What have Nido Inspire said? This will be coming to you during the weekend. Stay tuned why he gives you the other content which will inspire your happiness, your laughter, your future. Your future, and most importantly, take you higher to greatness. Let to inspire. Let to inspire. We salute you. Okay. Let us go to our our programs. Thank you for watching, and make sure you watch this program.